Halifax were back for more. So you may remember the uh, in the last stream, I was trying to create a, a, a what do you call it? A generic uh, fit function, a one size fits all fit function. Um, but it wasn't. Um, uh, I couldn't figure out a way to do it. Um, <clears throat> I first of all tried taking a pointer and uh, reallocating that and then coming out of that function but in doing that you don't you haven't modified the actual pointer um, I then tried taking a pointer to a pointer but I was getting complained at that um, the function was expecting a, a void star star but it was receiving a specific um, a star star of a different type so then I was like, okay, so I probably have to do this as a, as a macro. And this is why, possibly why Sean does his functions like this as a macro. I tried to do it as a macro, but I just couldn't figure out the syntax. And then I was like, screw it. I'm not going to bother. <clears throat> just leave it. But while I'm, um, I'm having a sandwich, it just occurred to me that um, I could probably make it work by taking a pointer as normal modifying that pointer in the function which worked and then returning the new po the new function uh, the new pointer right <laughs> and then when you call the function fit whatever you just do like the pointer that you want to uh, modify equals the result of that so before we uh, before we do any more let's just try and Let's just try and do this particular generic fit function. So, you need to take a base. And this was the items per block. equals realloc base the um, <clears throat> item count plus the items per block times by the width of the And then, if I hit the right key, you then just return the base. Right, <clears throat> and then rather than do fit token like this, you do set uh, uh, what is it actually working on? Yes, yeah, fit set token is equal to fit the pointer to the set token, although it is already a pointer, so you just pass it like that. We were passing it as doing 16 per block, right? And it works. Boom. Now, the problem before, right? I was doing it like this, uh, and that, yeah, of course, it wasn't calling it like that. I was calling it like this, and then when you came to free, you were hitting this. So, there we go. There is our generic bit function. <clears throat> so where we do these guys we just change that so this is doing fit token so once we're passing the um, S tokens um, tokens isn't it yeah Uh, 
um, config type spec, isn't it? I guess technically I could be passing a point. Uh, well, it could be the size of a point. This um, this dereferenced couldn't I? I? Could actually be doing that because I know that when I'm passing these guys, this is going to be an actual pointer. You, know, you can see within a config type specs, we have a pointer to a spec. So if you just dereference that pointer, you get the size of that. I might do that further up actually. <clears throat> you know, on the, on the other dudes, I might just make them do do that. Oh yeah, we need the um, <clears throat> clear and flip fit and clear, don't we? Need to remember to do that. Sorry, it's not that, is it? It is a uh, dest string. pair that can go in just a second. And finally, fit scope. Oops. Roll. 
Actually, it's not rule, is it? It's um, it's actually R. And it is eight. We were saying for some reason. If you don't mind. And then here we go on to fit and clear. So let's just take our clear function, pop it up with a fit, and that's exactly where it actually ended up. And do And this was base plus and you want to be clearing <clears throat> the that amount and returning the base. And I think that should be okay. Because the clear was working anyway. The, you know, this this guy does work as it as it does. You know, you're operating on those things. I think that is gonna just work. You don't need to return anything from the clear. Uh, so fit. So we need to do fit and clear. I mean, what, what would that give us? That would give us, um, uh, what would it be? How do you do it? Is it like that? No, it's not like that, is it? <laughs> so that gives us a size of 64k. I mean, I guess if ever, this ever becomes an issue, then you just sort of give yourself some more space. Uh, another bump it up. Did I? I did do that. So it doesn't like the code is zero right to the right of this region. Heat buffer overflow, right of size one. In clear, okay. I suppose I could actually see what I used to be doing, uh, which is this block size times the size of project, 
and we're making the clear block size times the size of pro yeah. Passing a size. So we do acknowledge that we've just Ah, oh, hang on a minute. If we haven't touched the base, uh yeah, we shouldn't actually be doing that if we haven't modified the thing why was this failing before though I wonder zero initialize I think that should be correct shouldn't it Maybe I was just getting away with that. Because I was never actually having to grow the thing again, maybe. I don't know, tough to say. Oh, dude. I suppose the other way actually, rather than doing that, you just copy and paste the fit thing. <laughs> you just, yeah, you just. I might do that actually, just because it's. <laughs> You're just sticking this boolean on the end of this function. Most of the time we're passing false. I don't know. <clears throat> There's pros and cons. I mean, if I leave it like this, then when you come to call this fit function, you sort of um, can get prompted to zero initialize it by looking at the function signature. You sort of go, Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's possible that this thing would need zero initialization.
Yeah. We may bother to push comments onto the token list. Okay. Good for us. So we now have two options. Um, or rather we have one option with two choices. We can continue to stuff things into our struct or we can actually resolve some of these people so where we're currently calling make string, we could uh, change this to be the actual resolve string. I think the resolving will be the bigger task actually. So I think I'd probably like to leave that until tomorrow. So I can do the full two streams just on resolution. And instead focus on pushing the, the people that are currently not pushing onto the, onto the config. to medium so yes I think let us do this first let us first of all push so we could push people or we could push People come with their own support, so it's, we don't need to push support separately. We only need to be pushing people. Uh, we've got that ready up to go, haven't we? Yeah, push persons. Uh, free persons, rather. Uh, we should have a push person somewhere, maybe. Um, push project, fit project. Fit project can go. Good job we spotted that. Yeah, so the only thing a config is going to contain is persons and projects. Bizarrely enough. <laughs> like all of this stuff, it just comes down to just this. With projects themselves containing their mediums. So there's multiple mediums and default medium is just a pointer to a medium. Pointer to one of these dudes. So I guess since we've already started with this push project, we could just do the mediums. Right. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go over all the scopes. That needs to be our first task. Um, Go over all of those and push mediums on to the project. So yeah, push project when we do this guy. <coughs> I don't think we're, going, we're not leaping over any scopes, are we? No. 
So we're going to have to loop over those first. That's going to be our, have to be our first thing that we do before going over the pairs or the in pairs or the bool pairs. The first thing we have to do is go over our little um, did we call them trees? the C project at the C project counts pointed to that and I pointed to that got what we're dealing with here. We're going over the tree counts. Scope tree trees. Can we put ID key? Ah. So it should be ID key and then Yeah right so when we when we push a medium we'll be using the ID as the sorry the, the ID's value <laughs> as the medium's ID if that makes sense. So the very first thing we do we're pushing a medium onto the project. Three arguments. Oh yeah. <laughs> now, um, initialization of it. Yeah, I'm not sure if we actually check if if the full lot is set, do we? So maybe we do actually clear it. I mean, clearly, we could just say that by the time that a project has actually absorbed these these guys, it should have both of the things set. Uh, and maybe that's appropriate for this person to do at this point. <laughs> I mean, it's a bit crazy, but. You know, we're kind of going through the whole tokenization. Obviously, the tokenization is just it, that just has to happen, and then we we'll go through the whole pass. We we'll go through the entire thing without actually re realizing that we're missing that the medium is missing some information. Yeah, I don't know. <coughs> Let's do a little note.
So we push a medium, and a medium has got an ID, so we need to make string from the ID. So it's this, this, this thing here. But rather than being that, so it's going to be. Oops. And it's the medium ID value. So the ID is going to be that. And what else is in a medium? Icon and name. Oh, oh yeah. That doesn't like something. So we're trying to switch on the medium pair something ID. Is that gonna be is that gonna be key? Um Yeah it is. That wasn't it. Icon and name. I think it was. Yeah, it's down. Down here. then that's it, ain't it? So first of all we need to push on the mediums and then finally you should see after having done so this is, going to, this is going to be pretty wasteful because it's going to be like m looping over the same things multiple times but I think we're just going to have to do it we're just going to have to suck it up aren't we? Default medium. Yeah, default medium is going to be a tree. Right. So we actually, yes, we need to loop through all of these guys. And then we need to loop through, loop through them all, like setting the actual mediums at all. <laughs> and then you go through them again. Uh, and if you get the um, default medium, then what you do is you. Uh, say that the
we, we need to be then leaping over our own trees, our own um, I didn't increase the medium count there by the way did I? or did I? no sorry um, We need to be looping over our own mediums, medium counts. So we have, where is, P, uh, well it's C project, it's C project count. It's kind of a bit, slightly bamboozling because you just, I guess that's just the, the uh, thing of being in a do the push function, I suppose. Um, get medium. So it's basically get, um, get medium by ID. So it's ID value. So if we pass the ID value, then we'll be passing something like blackboard. medium from project so get medium from project is going to be taking <coughs> the, a pointer to the current project and it's going to be taking the string which is there and this guy is going to be returning a point to a medium match we've got that haven't we Suppose actually here is where we could actually determine that we haven't found the right person. Right. So we should warn about that, shouldn't we?
octopus if it dies. It does not die. So then let's try and print those guys. Print medium. Do I do I have a print medium? <laughs> I wonder. Yeah, I suppose these are all just specific things now, aren't they? Because we're we'll be pulling out of actual structures, so yeah, I suppose that's understandable. strings These uh, print strings aren't going to put a new line, by the way. Sadly. We could have the idea of the indentation level, couldn't we? Bit cheesy, but it'll kind of do the trick. <laughs> so basically, the idea is it's going to print the ID. Uh, and yeah, it ain't going to be indented, as it would be nice to do. So it's going to not look well. Let's, let's just do it. Also, it's this, isn't it? We could then say, we could do a print medium of the default medium. Right, cool. It's going to read memory access. Which points to the zero page. Aha. Aha. So you haven't got a default medium set, so. Who should be checking that exactly? Surely we should be making.
Yeah, I mean print print tree couldn't do as couldn't be any good for us, could it? Print scope tree couldn't help us at all. Because by the time you've passed into that structure you don't actually have pairs and in pairs and stuff like that. So yeah, you do just have to do everything just piecemeal kind of. I mean maybe it could be reasonable to simply say I mean this is only like printing isn't it so who gives a shit <laughs> it doesn't matter does it <laughs> I was going to say rather than printing out a full medium just print out the icon uh, the um, just print out the name of it you know so it'd be essentially like this And this is going to be the the default mediums name. And I think we'll have to set it like that, I guess. Ah. <laughs> hey, that's cool. Don't think I've done that before. Do a point, uh, an arrow, and an arrow. Ah, yeah, mind you, it's not set, is it? trying to read so it's on this particular line it's trying to in the print project sorry is it just the print line or is it the actual setting it doesn't like because the default medium should get set shouldn't it Yeah, we probably just do have to say. We just probably do have to say that. But equally, we do. We would like to be able to say. You know, just print out the. Tell you what, let's do it this way. shouldn't crush it no so now we actually get that being printed out let me just set a default medium oh actually we can't can we uh, we can't set it out there at least uh, we can set it in here uh, and also um, what are we looking at here somebody who's calendrical <laughs> who's calendrical 
Oh, that's probably not even been set, has it, actually? <laughs> Uh, yeah, we don't have a way, do we? I don't think to communicate the fact that somebody something hasn't been set. That's a bit troubling, isn't it? Set there. Okay, so okay, so this guy down here is talking about this thing. It reckons there's still no. So it's handmade zero exclamation mark. So that's in the default media's blackboard. So they have found that. Log level D, log level D influence 4. Kind of nice to see that that's actually being printed in blue. <laughs> what else could be printed like that? Oh, the, the uh, numbering scheme, they also get printed in those kinds of colours, don't they? I don't think anybody sets the numbering scheme. Could be wrong. There we go. Numbering scheme equals linear. So you had that's all getting printed in blue, which is kind of sweet. Because they're numbers. So this thing thinks that it's getting a default medium. Uh, what is def what is it actually default medium? Is it not actually a scope at all and it's just it probably isn't a scope actually. A default medium is probably actually just a string. Yeah it is. So that's our problem. So when we push a project, we're not looking at the trees, we want to be looking at the pairs. Uh, and we probably don't need to bother about pushing the default medium on straight up there because it doesn't matter. You know, we only need to make sure that the that the um, the actual mediums were available to us. So we're not switch. We're not uh, looping over the trees again. We're looping over just the normal pairs. set to trivia for some reason why somebody somebody set default medium to trivia <laughs> well they shouldn't be doing that there should they because it's blackboard at least it should be blackboard 
So there's something busted in there. Get medium from projects. Some reason HMR Dirt is getting blackboarded as well. I mean, that seems a bit suspicious. Why should that be getting set to blackboard? <laughs> that should be getting set to that. Do we break? Probably don't break, do we? Yeah, we don't. Uh, is this syntax correct? So it should be case and then the break way after there. Surely this isn't influenced by No. That being up there, is it? No. <laughs> I was like, why is is it just luck that that's happened to be the first thing and it's the first thing here? Uh I mean would I expect this to be the case? The default medium equals blackboard. HMLD. I mean, the interesting thing is that these guys are going to get passed first and absorbed by this guy down here. So they all get absorbed. Interestingly, well, we are getting HMLD there, but we're getting title here, this guy that we've set. Oh, I know why. We just this is just the order that we're printing the guys out as. <laughs> it's not again. It's not like it's not like we're looping through things. Um, right, print project. We just told it to print the default medium at the top. <laughs> that's why that's happening. Could be nice to make the title go at the top actually. It's kind of an open question as to whether he even wants the mediums to be printed at all. I mean, I say it's an open question, it's kind of, again, it just does not matter <laughs> at all. So yeah. <clears throat> we're now we're now uh, pushing mediums onto onto um, projects. This print medium. This doesn't need to check anymore. Could be nice to colorize them. Couldn't it? Could be also cool. <laughs> if you want to get really fancy to actually write that out, 
as the character that that actually is. <laughs> Although that's a definitely just a, a task for a day when you're just kind of thinking what's fun to do. Right. So you make it actually print this character. Well, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> Why isn't that gonna work? Hold on. Oh, I guess it's the that's the U, the uh, HTML version, isn't it? Whereas we would be using it's run it's twelve seven nine thingy in that, but we would be using one f. One f three c three. There we go. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, I suppose what you could conceivably do actually is say, uh, make a sort of print, what do you call these things? So this is what we would do. We would use one, three, three, thing, ridic, thing, ridic, thing, ridic, but in, so X mod decimal entry entity. So that is what HTML, HTML needs to be using. Which is what you, yeah. So yeah, it's like print, <laughs> I don't know. Icon for decimal entity or something. I don't know. That would be just uh, like a fun thing to do. So yes, we are pushing mediums on. But what we're not doing is pushing persons on, and we're also not pushing projects onto projects. Um, and it's kind of unfortunate that we just don't get that for free, I suppose. <laughs> uh, in that we can't just make the current push project thing. can't just make you push onto the same thing. Um, yeah, that is a shame because it's quite a large function. But I suppose you just have to do it. I mean, the alternative, I guess, might be making push pro to take a a void star. And uh, like a, an enon to say what you push what you're pushing onto, whether you're pushing onto the root or the pro or the whether you're pushing onto the config or onto a project. I mean you just end up in a situation where you just literally well, I suppose you could set the C project count somewhere, couldn't you? Well, and also you could just set the thing that you push onto somewhere. Yeah, I mean, that is something you could totally do. So if I said I want to get a pointer to the current project,
It's just that, isn't it? Then wherever you do this, you just do current project, don't you? Wouldn't that work? So then, every time you see this, you just do that. basically saying is yeah I'm not sure if we can actually just blanket uh, <laughs> replace right that's right isn't it So we're now operating on an actual project. So this scope tree here is our actual project, right? That's the project that we want to be putting onto the config. I'm just wondering if we could just make this function able to push to both push onto both a config or a scope or or a um or a project. Got no idea what that's asking me here. Okay. Oh, there's going to be there should be a lot of make strings, shouldn't there? In a second. Where am I, where's, where's my cursor? Oh, it's down there. Uh, I guess what I'm trying to actually change 
is uh, s arrow is what I'm actually wanting to say change and in some ways when I see the p arrow that's kind of like the parent Well, is it though? Yeah, it's not. We do want to be saying the. Because we're going from the scope tree and putting it into an actual project. So yeah, what I'm wondering is if we can somehow split this thing out, because now this is this is always talking about the P arrow right up until this bit down here. So it's like we've got this preamble, it's, it's like push project onto config. Right, we're just going to take a thing. We've got a push project onto project, we're just going to take actually a project. Right, does this make sense? And they both do that interior thing. Uh, so this thing here, <coughs> pushing onto a project. I'm not sure what to call it, but let's just let's just so that's our P, and we've got our scope tree. Right. So what I'm suggesting is that all of this lot be done by push project.
right? So all this has to do is fit is fit space for a project and then set the project that we're talking about. Then call push project and then increase that guy's project count. Right. Push project onto project does exactly the same thing. I mean, it's actually child count, isn't it? Right. Does this actually work? Now we're never calling push project onto project yet, but We probably need to forward declare this push parents onto project actually. Possibly. Yeah, I mean it'd be basically in this tree count. Right. I think it'd be reasonable to loop over th these guys, pushing on the mediums, <coughs> and then loop over everything else, pushing them on, and then finally loop over all the trees again. What else can a project contain? It can contain an include, which we don't actually end up with. It can contain a medium in a project. So that's the only things. And that title list end thing, which we don't know what to do about. So yeah, the only options that we've got are medium and project. So basically what I was gonna what I was thinking of was for these, it's just like um well right, you just reduce that to be that. And then after you've done all of this. I 
think we need to increase increment the project count, don't we? Oh no, the outer guy does that. Yeah, for for these, right? Then what I'm basically saying is. Push project onto project. Because that's what we're in here. Probably not, is it? What we probably actually need to do is do P. Well, actually, hang on a second. But uh, this is a project incoming, isn't it? Yeah, actually, maybe. So push project onto project. It's going to be passing. <coughs> Parent is a P, yeah, so and then this guy's gonna set the child up. <laughs> I don't expect this to work, but let's just try it. It didn't crash. Um where am I actually what's my printing out here? of times you remember the scope tokens call that sets the parent to be the new newly pushed the newly created parent We probably need to do that sort of sort of thing here, because yeah, we've, we've definitely only got the one, the two dudes, haven't we? Uh, although I'll tell you what, uh, we're just not maybe not we're simply not printing them out. That could be possible. <laughs> Print project. Yeah, we're not going over the ch the children. That's actually right. <laughs> Crazily enough. <coughs> and it looks a bit weird with all sorts of stuff interspersed and you can't tell where stuff is being scoped to. I suppose actually this default medium should really use the code name, you know, the ID rather than the the actual name. Like that, really. 
primary search. Because that's the thing that it's actually kind of indexing to. It's not indexing to the name. It's indexing to the ID. Yeah, I mean, maybe that's fine. Maybe that's doing it. So I'll tell you what, let's see if we can just quickly do the uh, the free persons. We have not done the push person, have we? We are doing the free projects, so we're free mediums. So I think we have handled everything. Although bear in mind that we are going to change, aren't we? To do arena freeing. Let's just see if we can push on to the push the persons onto the config. I mean, this should just be this, shouldn't it? Uh, and also, Yeah, it's just free P in it. That's the problem. So Right, here we go. Resolve variables. So we want. To, so we've got a push product onto config. Let us also <coughs> just above these. Let's do a push person. It's going to take a config and a person. Probably, isn't it? Uh, oh no, it's take. It takes a um, scope tree actually. Right. First thing we do is we say uh, we only need to set a few things, don't we? It's just like the ID name and uh, oh, we need to be able to push the ports out as well. to this current person or oh, maybe it doesn't matter because it's not very many so the ID is going to be make string I think that's what you do isn't it? <laughs> 
No. Um, oh, it wanted a pointer to it. Oh, and it also needs to know what kind of a thing it is. So it's got the ID name. Uh, so to do that, I think we go to items person. Uh, not in person. There's a name. So they've got their own ID, name, and home page, right? And then two scopes. So we need to loop through the strings. If it's a name, do that. If it's a home, do that. And we should, at this point, only have, because these are singletons, there should only be one of each in there, at most. So I did name and I did home page. Sorry, it's uh, looping over the person tree. that free person call that should be freeing the individual thing shouldn't it? it needs to free the ID it needs to free the name and it needs to free the um, yeah, it's not that it's uh, uh, person tree Value. That's what it should be. Yeah, that thing should be freeing all of them, shouldn't it? It's a little bit unfortunate that I named them such as, like, it's only in this case that it's their pairs, if you know what I mean. Probably the URL, isn't it? Well, no. be a support so just push the port basically <laughs> we're pushing a support onto the C person uh, C person counts sorry that's complete rubbish isn't it C person actually it's a big part no it's not that's perfectly right
thing below. Shouldn't do that. And finally, how many should supports? Should we just say it's like two? Because usually it's only going to be one, but two could suffice. Definitely fit to enough. Uh, and then we need to do, once we've got this, we want to do P support ID. Well, it's actually P support at P support count ID. So you can make string. Oh, we need to loop over. No, we don't. No, no, no. no. What doesn't it like? It doesn't like the fact that I've passed too few arguments. Actually, yeah. Uh. Uh. Well, yeah. I mean, the support actually has to have both the things set, a URL and a, an icon. Dunno. So the ID is going to be that. Uh, and then we need to loop over the same as this. It's this, it's exactly this loop here. And you've just got to say, um, URL and icon, isn't it? Support of the person support can okay, let me just uh, pull this. And that is getting it from the support ID value. No, it's not. It's getting it from the. Oh. Yeah, yeah. This ain't right. That is right, yeah. Support per account. Then we do Seems good enough to me. I think that's all you need to do. You're fitting those. So, free person. <coughs> you need, need to actually free the ID, the name, and the home page. And then it needs to free the supports, which in turn need to free the ID icon and URL. Um, only because we're currently doing the poll malloc thing, and you know, we're not using Gun Arena. So a free person actually needs to be freeing the string. Home page. And it needs to free the support. It will be like that, won't it?
this ain't doing at all right the, the right thing is it uh, although like like I say we're going to totally change it so yeah this is probably leaking all sorts of memory here because if you see free config is doing free projects it's going to free projects and free projects is going to go in it's going to free all of these and then call free mediums free mediums how does that happen <laughs> that happens right up here for some reason <laughs> oh because it's with the push medium okay fine so free mediums is going to just free that actually this might be okay Well, no, it can't. No, it won't be. Uh, will it? Oh, actually, yeah, it could be. Because basically, we fit those guys. And in fitting that, we've. Well, actually, no, because these guys make string. Right, see, so we're, we're making space. We're making space for the. These, these things here. But. <laughs> we're then going on to allocate more space for the actual characters of this icon <laughs> so this free mediums ain't right this would have to loop over the mediums freeing their, all their icons and names So that frees those guys. And that should free everything. So first of all we need to fall loop over those dudes. <laughs> Jesus. Finally, you can free those things. Uh, you know, free the the space that we allocated for the actual pointers to these things. Is that right? What doesn't it like? to be doing <coughs> so then free projects they need to you see see they're freeing all their strip well free string what's this oh right I need to use that It's a free string for these guys, and then this guy is just a regular old allocation done by fit, right? And that just does it, just a regular, regular allocation block size. So that frees all of those. And then freeze mediums. Doesn't this need to be looping over all of the projects though? 
all of its pet, all of its child projects. Yeah, I don't know. string has somebody else just freed it or something is that what's happened yeah I'm not exactly sure what's going on there Maybe I just don't care for now, honestly. And just just leave it as a just leave it leaking essentially. <laughs> um, because I am going to definitely go back and just do it as an arena. So yeah, in fact we could just You can kind of see that it's it's not going to be a, too much of a problem because the program runs to completion and then it gets out of there. So that memory is going to get freed. It's not like it's going to sit around uh, indefinitely. And this is the um, scope tree. troubling that we're missing a player template in almost every case aren't we there's a search template there there's not a player template no player te oh there's a player template there search template okay so yeah we're gonna have to figure out how to distinguish between I mean it's possible that the config isn't actually um, correct and it's still just in like a testing state. Makes the unit is never set. Oh, there it goes. So for programming, and that's for what is that for? Riskily? No. Well. No, it'll be the next thing up, won't it? So that's for risky business. So risky business is getting all these medium set. So is it blackboard is whiteboard, yeah. 
And the other thing was run in game app, in app, yeah, in app. We've got default medium, so it's pretty annoying. Visual dev, family. So, yeah, I mean, it kind of seems like we are pushing all the dudes on. As far as I can see. So, perhaps tomorrow we're ready to go on with resolving. I've called a bunch of these streams variable resolution so far, but still, it's just been <coughs> structuring, structuring them up. Which is fine, it's, part, it's all part of it. It's all you needed to do it. So yeah, I'm going to call it there. We've listened to the end of that Mr. Scruff album. I've listened to Kate Bush's The Sensual World as well. It's now one o'clock. We've done another couple of hours, have we done? Yeah, basically another couple of hours. So let's call it there. And resume tomorrow. So thank you very much, James and Heroines, for being here, for being fantastic and beautiful and inspirational and all round good sports. Until next time. Farewell for now.